Alright fellas, so today we're going to continue doing my favorite thing on the fucking planet, and that is reading hilarious Reddit stories, so, or what may or may not be hilarious, uh, hilarious Reddit stories, so I have one here, and whoever made this, Mr. Zero Matter, seven years ago, this is awesome, when they leave the too long, didn't read, uh, little section at the beginning, because a lot of times I just have to scroll to the bottom, and a lot of times it's not even there, but this is perfect, it's even like bolded letter, so it says, little spoiler alert, girl punched me in the face, I punched her back, worst first date ever, bonus points, I didn't know it was a first date. So we're going to get into this, and I kind of skimmed through it, and it looks like it's like a sparring story, so it's not like you just beat the shit out of a chick. So I'm in college, early sophomore year, in some psychology 101 class. This cute Hispanic girl, Maria, Maria, Mariah, I don't know. Sits next to me and we hit it off. To be completely honest, I wasn't really into her as a romantic interest at the time, but she was pretty cool in hindsight. I wouldn't have minded dating her. She was a commuter student, so we didn't really hang out much outside of class. She sounds cute as hell, dude. I'm not even gonna lie. One weekend, she had a group project on campus. She, she asked if I wanted to hang out after she was finished, around 5 p.m. on Saturday. Incidentally, that's about the time that I went to the gym to practice MMA. She knows that I dabble in martial arts, and when I bring up the conflict, uh, in parentheses, which I had no problem skipping, parentheses, she suggests that she come with. This is also prefaced with a, oh, but I'll be all sweaty after. No problem, I'll just shower at your dorm. Face, meet palm. So I imagine he's doing that. Don't ever do that, by the way. That's, that's fucking gross. Also, why would he... That's just so weird. She's like, oh, I'll come too. Like, obviously, he's, like, trying to use a back door to not hang out with her. Well, I guess he's not, because he says he would have just not went to the MMA practice. Um, but yeah, dude. Also, a girl that you don't know, why? I don't know. This dude, needs, sounds like this dude needs to get his priorities straight. Why would you spar a, tri a chick that you didn't meet the, at the gym? That's so weird. Never bring your girlfriend to the fucking gym. You need an escape from them. Like, imagine you're dating this chick, you guys are together 24-7, and your only escape is to go to the gym, have some alone time. She's like, oh, I'll come, and then you bring her there. It's like, now you never have an excuse to get away from her. Jesus Christ. Because now she's like, oh, I'll just go with you. Fast forward to Saturday, we show up at MMA. Since it's a college-run club at tech school to boot, we have a wide variety of dude bros there, ranging from experienced fighters to complete newbies. This meant that Maria wasn't really out of place, and we spent some time going over the basics. Sounds like any MMA gym, dude. Our practices were usually one and a half to two hours long, and we would drill for the first half and then spar for the second. Since I'm probably the smallest guy there, five foot three, 125 pounds, Jesus. And since Maria was my guest, quote unquote, the sparring portion was all me. Now, real talk here, sparring with women is a lose-lose a situation. Called sexism, but even if she says she can't handle it, I just can't go balls to the walls. Especially with a newbie. If I come out blazing, someone's going to get hurt. Spoiler alert, it won't be me, but at the same time, I can't lose. Call it pride or misplaced misogyny. Consider my privilege checked. But if I lose, then it's GG. I won't hear the end of it ever again. Dude, that's so true, but also, you shouldn't be coming out guns blazing in a fucking sparring session. I guess maybe if you guys are wearing, like, 20 ounces with, you know, some really protective headgear. But other than that, dude, don't be on fucking hard in sparring. You're gonna hurt somebody for no reason. Especially in college. So when fighting with a woman, I usually take a few lumps and give a few love taps. I'll go hard enough to make it clear that I'm dominant, but not hard enough to actually cause damage. The fight starts in Maria, Mariah, Maria, I'm just saying Maria. Comes out swinging. That's fine, I'll just turtle a little bit and throw a suddenly, I'm spinning. Turns out she's done some boxing before, like five years worth. Yeah, that was an important fucking detail she should have told you. I was wondering why she was so giddy on coming. It's like, okay. Because I'm the smallest guy there, I usually spar with larger people. I think like five inches and 30 pounds on me. Because of this, I've really learned, I've learned really fast that when I get rocked by punch, I need to, for lack of a better term, Drop aggro or else the fight is going to end. If I can't get them to back off, then they'll follow it up and I'll lose. So I've conditioned my instincts to immediately counter if I get rocked. It's an unconscious thing at this point. Dude, dude's getting rocked and sparring like that is a co I guess he's, he's sparring with other college students that have an ego. But Jesus Christ. He's talking about getting rocked and then getting finished in a sparring session. I don't know. That's not the way I do it for the most part. But anyway, I'm not. Whatever. 
So here I am, rocked. I automatically throw my oh shit punch. It catches Maria straight to the face and literally knocks her off her feet to the ground. As my buddy tells me, it's I started laughing because I know you got rocked. Then you rock. Then you knocked the fuck out of her. Uh, off his note, she wasn't KO'd, and I started laughing even harder. Why did he put that? Anyways, after much apologies, we head out. Her eyes won't like. Good luck hiding that with mascara. Like, quote unquote, no officer, I swear, she fell down the stairs. Swollen. She turns to me and chuckles and says, Ha, so this was pretty much the worst first date ever, right? All I could do was double take and, a la Stewie Griffin, reply with a drawn out, What? Say what? Epilogue. We didn't end up dating. Class of money was super awkward trying to explain what happened to her. Yeah, not only that, but she d must have most certainly had a fucking headache afterwards if you've ever been hit. Like, dude, even after light sparring, I get headaches sometimes. Maybe I'm just, I mean, I'm really not a person that gets headaches all the time, but come on. Damn. Alpha as fuck. This dude didn't even say anything. Oh, dodge a bullet there. If a woman automatically assumes it's a first date without prior warning, something's up. She could have ended up like OAG. Edit. Go ahead and down though. I'm staying with the sinking ship. What is A O O A G? I don't know, dude. Sometimes I see this Reddit link on. I'm like, what in the fuck? O A G. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get this. Okay, I know. What is A O G? I don't even know if it has anything to do with this. But dude, definitely do not take a chick. I guess this dude didn't look at it as a date. But why would you not look at it as a date? She's literally decided to go to the gym with you and spar with you like most women be like okay i just won't go i guess this chick box for five years um but damn dude what a crazy story i mean i i don't think i've ever actually sparred with a chick before i do roll with girls all the time and i get what he's saying when it's like you know you don't want to give them anything because then you're going to get submitted just like with anyone else but you're like you'll let them pass guard you'll let them take your back especially if they're a lower belt than you um, not even that they're much worse, but dude, come on, you're, you just have such a sh physical advantage most of the time that it is just almost unfair. And even subconsciously, if you're one with like a smaller guy that's a lower belt, you'll you'll give him inches that you would never give somebody else if they were closer to your size or closer to your skill level. So it makes sense, but I guess that story wasn't as bad as I thought. Now, if he cleaned her up, if he knocked her the fuck out, we'd have some problems.